Assalamu alaikum, doctor. My name is Hisham Jafar Ali. I wanted to ask you if we are allowed to watch cartoons. <laughs> the brother has really asked a very good question on the topic that are we allowed to watch cartoons? Today, the international survey, they say, the maximum damage done to any child is the satellite media. On an average, an American child sits seven hours in front of the television, more time than what he goes to school. Most of the channels that take him away from Islam, including the cartoon channels, most of them. What you see, there's so much of violence, etc. So a person sees a violent movie regularly, whether it be cartoon or other movies, and he has a fight with his friend, and he takes out the gun of his father and he kills his friend. In Bombay, there was a serial for the children, somewhat similar to cartoon, called as Shakti Man, somewhat similar to Superman. So one young child, he jumps from his house in a tall building, thinking Shakti Man, Superman will come and save him, no one comes and saves him, and he dies. And when an interview was taken of that father, he said, I could not imagine my son would jump. Maybe tomorrow your son or my son will jump. Therefore, the impact of the media is so great that it blinds the person and it causes maximum damage to the children. That's why we have started a school in Bombay by the name of Islamic International School. One of the criteria to get admission is that you should not have a cable TV in your house. No satellite TV, it's a shaitan. It's a shaitan. So people ask me, then how will we watch Peace TV? <laughs> Point number one. By watching Peace TV, if you're allowing hundreds of shaitan channels to come in your house, don't watch any, that is better. Let a small loss take place to prevent a big loss. But we have made provision that if you have a special dish and a decoder, you can only watch Peace TV and no other channel. So we'll see to it that's available even in the Middle East. Buy a dish, investment of few thousand rupees or a few hundred dirhams. You don't have to pay monthly whatever fees that you're paying out here or 200, 250 rupees monthly. Invest a few thousand and all the people in the building can watch. Have one decoder, it will only catch Peace TV and no other channel. What we have, we can't create a vacuum. This is haram, this is haram. There should be a substitute. So we tell the parents of our school, don't watch cable TV, but we have got 5,000 tapes on Islam and comparative religion. Every day if you watch one for three hours, it will take you more than 13 years to complete the library. So by the time your son passes the school or your daughter passes the school, every day if you watch one, yet you don't complete the library. And the next 13 years, we may have one more 5,000, inshallah. In our Islamic video cassette library, we have cartoons for children, but they are on Islamic lines. So surely, my son, you can watch cartoons which are based on Islamic guidelines, talking about the Quran, talking about the Hadith of the Prophet, various cartoons we have got. But these cartoons get you closer towards Islam, not away from Islam. Otherwise, the other cartoons like Tom and Jerry, Batman, Superman, they have got no moral value. They take you away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's so much of violence. So we have got Islamic cartoons like Muslim Scouts and various other cartoons like Fateh Sultan, which has a moral story and it gets the person towards Islam. So my son, if you want to watch cartoon, watch the Islamic cartoon which takes you towards Islam, but not those cartoons which take you away from Islam. Hope that answers the question.